So just stop oil protesters oh. sprayed orange powder paint on Stonehenge on Wednesday. And according to their website, the pigment was made. They said, don't worry. The pigment is made of an orange cornflower that's going to wash away in the rain. So don't worry about it. And um, I want to uh, I want to play for you guys. This is the actual act. And then the person who decided that this would be a good idea to do in the first place. Um, let's let's play those side by side. Watch. My name's Neve. I'm 21 and I'm a student at the University of Oxford. Today, I'm taking action with Just the World to demand that the UK government commits to signing the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty and promises to stop burning fossil fuels by 2030. To refuse to do so is to warrant death, destruction and suffering on an absolutely immense and immeasurable scale. Today, we'll be taking action at Stonehenge uh, the day before the solstice. For thousands of years, people have come to Stonehenge on the solstice to celebrate our natural world, to celebrate the beauty of our natural world. But I can't help thinking, what does it look like today and what the heck have we done to it? These stones have stood here for 5,000 years. What will the world look like in 5,000 years' time? What will our legacy be? It's becoming ever more clear that we end the fossil fuel era or the fossil fuel era ends us. Well, I can tell you that your legacy will be, ma'am or sir, I'm not quite sure, um, that everyone will hate your movement because you're so insufferable. You're pushing people away from your cause. You know, I read, I, I, I'm going to, I want to play, I want to read this Stonehenge tweet in a second, but I read this awesome conspiracy theory that I totally am bought into that this big, oil, uh, this climate change movement, the climate activists are actually a psyop that was put on by big oil to get people to hate the climate change activists because everything they do is so dumb. It's like even someone who might think, yeah, we should care about the environment. They see this and they're like, oh, screw these people. No, I don't agree with you guys. So because, you know, they're like, oh, don't worry. It was just orange cornflower. It just washes away in the rain. Don't worry. Well, actually, uh, the Stonehenge Twitter account tweeted out, Stonehenge is protected by ancient mon the Ancient Monuments Act, and it is a criminal offense to damage the stones. There are also multiple rare lichen species growing on the stones that are also protected. Expect a prison sentence. Good. Yes, long one. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Long one. Yeah. You know, let's, let's deface something. Let's cause destruction in, in, in the, under the auspice of doing good. Let's burn America down and say it's peaceful. Do you know let's, who does let's, that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the Taliban. The yeah. Taliban did that. The exactly. Taliban go after historical monuments exactly. and deface them and destroy them. Yeah. Ten years minimum, and that... I, I genuinely, I mean... I, I love this guy. I don't, I'm not saying that <laughs> this, this person's... Uh, this person's um, explanation was... Good, but I did. Whenever I watched it immediately, I'm like, "What the hell did the rocks do to you? Like, wh why the rocks? Wh why? What did they? Do? How did they hurt what, you? What does the why? solstice have to do? I mean, I'm, <laughs> oh my gosh! No, look, when it's when it's wrong, it goes wrong, just just all the way wrong. It's just, and it's sad. I, I look, I look at that person speaking because that's what I do for a living. As we we profile and and look at where where there's hurt and there's such there's there's such confusion and such complete programming going on in that individual that you know, it's it's a it's a completely indoctrinated human being that is not capable of making any logical sense whatsoever and and some members in society celebrate that and and I'm with you it's not just oxford i mean our Biggest institutions in this country were founded on bi biblical principles. You talk about Harvard. Look what that place has become. Mm. I mean, this is you know complete indoctrination camps. It's madness, and sometimes it's good to let madness play out, and you see it's madness. But I kind of like the psyop idea because that would be very smart. I want it to be so. I want that it to would be, be true. very smart. I want it to be so true, yeah. and so so to that point, it would be like um, Israel would be like. Psyoping all of these those these Gaza protesters that are sitting in the middle of the highway, blocking people is like that would be really smart actually because everyone would be like I 
I wasn't sure I was on the fence, but I know I'm not with those people. And now I'm on Israel's side. <laughs> like anyone who is, you know, trying to uh, cause awareness for a movement could just be like, let's just make the other side look really bad. Every single time, sorry, Yoko, yeah. every single time that I see him, I post a picture of my truck. And I say, I'm going for a spin and I'm just going for a drive. <laughs> they're the worst. I hate that. I mean, they're they, the they, worst. Because they, they go for beauty. Here's the other thing. I might not, I might not believe in it, but that is a holy sight to druids. Yeah. It, I mean, genuinely, it is. A hundred percent. Yeah. And so what they're doing is they're desecrating a holy sight as well. Right. I, I'm just, I, I hope, because think about how dumb this is. Think about how dumb this is. You did it. It's a huge crime. And then you went on TikTok or whatever and admitted yeah. that you were the one who did it. Completely. You're showing your yeah, yeah, completely. Like, they're not going to have trouble finding this there person. Are, no, but the other thing. Hogwarts first. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to arrest Harry Potter. We get, <laughs> <laughs> no, not oh, Harry. Uh, Sarah. Oh, no. That whole freaking thing is demonic. Okay. Oh, no. I was about to say we're about Don't to Don't take Harry Potter from me. We're, 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 we're about to get the full full British empire here through Matthew, the original. <laughs> but but here's, here's what I would say. When you sit and you plan this as this person, when do you think that this ever worked? Gluing your hand to the Mona Lisa? Or, 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 or when, when has it resulted in a in a... And a positive outcome for your m m mini movement. It hasn't no, ever anywhere no, no. paint on paintings and completely destroying ancient art. Yeah. Right? I mean, this is not 10 years. That's too easy. No, you got to make an example. No, it's time for consequence. Off with their head. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> But not really. Where am I? <laughs> not really. 20 to 25. I'll let you decide. No if you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on. You know you do. Click here.